According to data from the CDC, about one in 36 children has been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Dr. David Childers with the UF College of Medicine's Autism Center is joining us this morning to dig deeper into this. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us. So some more um, statistics. So autism spectrum disorder is nearly four times more common among boys than among girls. Do we know why? We have a theory. Generally, neurologically, children with an autistic disorder are far stronger with spatial strengths and skills than they are with language, presenting with language problems and visual perseverations and good at puzzles. We know that in a population, generally males are more hunter-gatherers and women are more nurturers. Mm -hmm. So we expect to see a little bit of strength with visual spatial in a population of males, and that's why we think probably it's the reason in boys. Is, is there a genetic component or link at all? Absolutely. Autism is completely genetically related. Uh, there are over 80 genes incredibly associated with autistic disorder and over another thousand highly associated. What that tells us is autistic disorder is probably not a single thing. It's probably a whole lot of different things going on in the brain with the final outcome. And the majority of the problems appear to be at the synapse of the neurons. The brain talking to itself diffusely is disrupted. Okay, which is a little confusing, uh, but the reality is is that there are some warning signs and they can be pretty much detected when children are, are fairly young, correct? Absolutely. Between 9 and 12 months of age, we want a baby desperately seeking eye contact and social engagement with moms. Failure to do that is a concern. Mm. Around 9 months of age, babies reach for things they want and at 12 months they start pointing. A reach is all about me. I want it. I want it. A point is all about you. You see what I want and you go get it for me, kind of a shift. The majority of language a baby gets up to a year and a half are just babbles. Mom and dad are babbles, parents assign a value. But around 18 months, babies run out of babbles and those regress and the baby is supposed to start downloading language from the parents and becoming very verbal. So we worry about eye contact and no pointing by a year. And then at about 18 months, as those babbles regress and we don't see language take off, we're very concerned. And so is this, at what point do you have a conversation that goes beyond the conversation with the pediatrician? Because having, having children, uh, and, and my niece is two right now, you know, uh, and she's wonderful. She's doing all the things that she's supposed to, but you could see how parents might think, well, they are doing this, but they're not necessarily doing that. They might just be a late bloomer. When do you start saying, nah, that's probably not it. I need to get some outside help. I think it's the real social component. Uh, the majority of parents who come to see us are worried about their child's behavior, and autistic disorder is not a behavior problem. It's a social and a language disorder. So if the children are not engaging socially by nine to 12 months, we're worried. If by 18 months they're not using language for needs and wants frequently, that's why I think you wanna seek out care. And there's a program called Early Steps. It's a federal program, it's in every county in the United States, and it provides no cost evaluations within a month and a half to any family who requests them. Oh, that's fantastic. And um, when we think about autism, uh, there's been a lot of conversations over the years about what causes it. Do we know what causes autism? We know that it's genetically based, um, but we also believe there are probably some environmental triggers that we're not clearly uh, able to discern at this point. The one we can say almost definitively is it is not immunizations. The immunizations were primarily given at 18 months with the MMR. That's when the babble regression occurs. So there was a timing association, but completely unrelated in terms of cause. Again, not caused by the MMR vaccine. Thank you. I cannot say that enough. Doctor, thank you for your perspective. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much.